Welcome back to Loser's Quest, Big E here. I'll be explaining Legends of Runeterra's currency system, how to acquire and use them for beginner players so they may start building their card collection as fast as possible. There are three types of currencies in Runeterra, coins, gems, and wild cards. The home menu displays the coins and gems in your possession. In the store menu, under the cards tab, you can view the number of wild cards you have as well as coins and gems. Coins are available for purchase in any of the store menus by clicking on the plus sign to the right of the icon. Coins can be used to buy anything in the game such as cards, boards, guardians, card backs, and emotes. Gems and wild cards can be acquired by opening capsules and chests, so we'll be going on a small tangent on the game's pseudo currency, Experience Points. Runeterra rewards you with experience points for completing daily tasks, challenges. I am addicted to this game, as you can see, <laughs> but every challenge rewards you with 100 experience points, and playing matches against players and AI. Unlike the other currencies in the game, experience is automatically pulled into your selected region track to unlock rewards such as capsules, chests, and wild cards, and your weekly vault. Capsules contain only cards. Chests contain cards and gems. Gems are in-game currency that you earn by opening chests. But there is another way to obtain them. When you have collected three copies of the same card, anytime a capsule or chest rewards you with an additional copy of that card, it will be converted into gems. Common cards will give you 15 gems rare cards will reward you with 60 gems. Wild cards are vouchers for a specific rarity of cards that are gained by purchasing them from the store or obtaining them as a special drop from capsules and chests. There are four rarities of cards in the game. Common, Rare, Epic, and Champion. Each rarity is denoted by a color, shape, on the bottom of the card. Commons have a green triangle. Rares have a blue diamond. Epics have a purple pentagon. And champions have an orange hexagon. Every wild card you receive is color coordinated to match the rarity of a card you can exchange it for. Now that we've covered all the game currency and how to obtain it, let's spend it. Open the collection menu, select the card tab. All the cards you have in your collection will be displayed by default, starting with champion rarity cards followed by all other cards in ascending mana cost order, regardless of its rarity or card type. To view cards you do not have in your collection, click the show unowned button. It will glow to indicate that it's on. Any card you don't have in your collection will appear in gray. There are circles on the bottom of each card. Each circle with a gold outline indicates that you have a copy of that card. When you select a card, it will display how many copies of that card you currently own, which wild card you need to exchange for a copy of the card, as well as how many gems or coins you will have to pay for a copy of a card. To more quickly find the card you would like to purchase, you can filter by region, card type, rarity, mana cost, and set in this section. I hope you found this video helpful. Please comment and subscribe for more videos like this.